Okay, we're trying a real-time video here with a Gen 3 thin film image intensifier of the Milky Way as seen from a dark location, Mount Pinos, California. Trying to shoot it here with a Sony A7S camera. Settings are 1 60th of a second shutter. ISO is 1250. And we're looking south into what's left of Sagittarius because it's setting. It's kind of to the south-southwest. See some pine trees in the background. That would be the edge of the parking lot here at uh, our location. And we're just going to slowly pan up through the cloud belts, star cloud belts of the Milky Way. And we just got a little meteor there in the lower left corner. We'll just keep going up at a moderate pace. Um, the lens in front of the image intensifier is a 50mm f1.3 set wide open. That's going to give us an equivalent magnification of about 2 power. Um, I don't think it's the sharpest lens ever invented, but uh, there's another meteor. But it sort of works. Okay, bright star with a halo on the upper left is Altair, constellation Aquila. And as we proceed up, the Milky Way will slowly start to get dimmer. Another little tiny meteor. Now uh, we're panning around with an Altaz mount made by Half Hitch Telescope. It's called an FTQ. And my camera, wow, another one. There's a lot of meteors tonight. My camera's mounted to the FTQ using a binocular mount. This sort of like an L shaped mount so it can sort of sit horizontally. And then there's some additional attachments to keep it in place. Now, right now we're in Cygnus. Coming into the center, you can see kind of a slightly arc curved line of stars dead center. I'm sure there's a name for that, but I don't know what the heck it is. They call that a star asterism, I believe. And that would be Saturn on the left, and the brighter star on the upper right would be Deneb. And we'll just keep going here through Cygnus. So that's the Milky Way, sort of. And it's been cloudy here earlier, really cloudy. In fact, it was, oops, fog. Nice of me to hit the tripod on you. All right, I'm just gonna pan, continue to pan around. Lots of stars, we'll go through Cygnus and we'll come down into Cepheus. We're probably falling into Cepheus now. Trying to stay in the Milky Way. See, by the way, the image intensifier tube is an ITT Gen 3 thin film. F9800 Ultra Tube, meaning it's mil spec with relatively good performance parameters. I'm grunting because I'm squatting. Okay, that's gonna let's come down now towards the northern horizon, the northern edge of the Milky Way. I think we're still kind of in it. See a little star cluster off to the left. That's probably the, yeah, that's the Perseus cluster. In fact, I went too far. So we'll go back to the Perseus cluster, double cluster. And we'll just go straight down. This is getting a little long. Until we hit the northern horizon, there's a pine tree. Go a little lower. And uh, there's a bright star. That really bright thing would be uh, Capella in the constellation Auriga. Typically yellow, but in night vision, I'm afraid it looks green. Okay, so there we have the Milky Way from Mount Pinos, California. Some of it anyway, through Gen 3 image intensifier, and that's a wrap.